Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 19th AngularJS tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about the transclude and replace properties on our custom directive. <laughs> okay then guys, so in the last tutorial we made this swanky directive right here called Random Ninja and uh, that output a random ninja on the screen every time. So to do that we pass through this object, or we return this object rather, with all these different properties which control this functionality. Okay. Now we call this directive in the home view right there by using the random ninja tag. And then the view is controlled by this random.html file where we output the data, the title and then this random thumbnail. Okay. So we did all that in the previous tutorial. If you've not checked it out already, go and see that first before this video because we're just going to build on it in this video and go through a couple more properties we can pass through to this returned object. So the first property I want to talk about is transclude. Now, if we go into the home view right there, within this tag, what we've done essentially here is make a new HTML5 tag, right? We've defined that ourselves by using a directive. Now, within HTML tags, we can normally nest other HTML. We could do something like this, a p tag, and then uh, say something like, check out our random ninja, something like that, right? Now, if I save this, I'd expect to see that on the screen over there. However, I don't, okay? And that is because within this code over here, we're saying, okay, well, we want the template for this um, directive right here to be driven by this file, random.html. And then in here, this is what is being output to the screen. So essentially anything within this random ninja tag is gonna get deleted and replaced by this stuff right here. However, we can tell Angular that we don't want to delete this stuff. We want to include this within the tag. And the way we do that is by using the transclude property on this returned object. So let's come under here and we'll just say transclude true. That's all we need to do within this object. And now we're saying, look, we want to include this HTML right here nested in the directive. Okay. Now if I save this now, nothing is going to happen. It's still not going to show that. And that's because we've not told Angular where within this template we want to show that nested HTML. Okay. So we need to tell Angular that explicitly. And the way we do that is by using the ng transclude directive. So if I want to show it just under the title right here, I could say something like div ng transclude. Okay. And then everything within this tag right here, you can see it's showing now is going to be within this div. It's going to place it right there. Okay. And I can move this. I could put it underneath the image if you wanted to. Um, that doesn't make much sense. I'm going to put it back up, but you get the point. Wherever we put this div or whichever element you want with this um, directive right here, that is where the data or the HTML is going to be output. All right, cool. So the other property I want to show you is the replace property. Now, currently, if we right click and just inspect the element, and uh, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit for you guys here. Okay, so now you can see we have this tag right here called random ninja. That's our directive, right? Now that's cool, but I mean, it's not exactly standards compliant that, you know, you don't have tags called random ninja in HTML. So if we want to make this a bit more standards compliant, then what we could do is use the replace property to say, look, okay, well, we've called the directive now in the HTML. We know it's a random ninja, but now when you output that to the screen, I want to replace this tag with something a bit more compliant, like a div tag, for example. All right. So to do that, all we need to do is come into our returned object right here and say replace and then set that equal to true also. Now, if I do that and save it, what will happen within this view right here? Remember, we said that we want it to be controlled by this template. Yeah, this random.html. So it goes to there and then it finds the outermost element that surrounds all of this content right here. And then it replaces this thing right here, this tag with the outermost tag in our template like that. So now the ninja, random ninja, will become div. And that's just going to make it a little bit more kind of standards compliant when it comes to HTML. So if I inspect now, then we should see this now is a div tag instead of a ninja tag, right? And you can still see it's got all of those attributes, ninjas equal ninjas, title equals uh, random ninja. It's got all those attributes that were on this tag right here, 
but it's just said, hey, I want to replace the random ninja thing right there with the div, which is the outermost element right there. Now, if we wanted to surround it all with something different, like, I don't know, a section tag, uh, and you probably wouldn't do this because it's a tiny little thing. It's not really a section, but just for the demonstration of this tutorial, if we wanted to do something like that, and we wanted to uh, the ninja tag to be replaced by this, then we could do that, and if we look in the source now, if we just inspect this element, we can see now it's a section tag, all right? So that is the replace tag, and it's really good because still in your HTML, it's kind of semantic. You're saying what everything is there, so it's easy to you or other developers when they come to edit this, they know what it is, and uh, then in the HTML, when it's published, it's going to be more uh, compliant, okay? It's going to be a tag that is better known. Right, so they're the only two properties I wanted to talk about in this tutorial. Remember, transclude and replace. So, if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to uh, leave a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, please don't forget to, uh, to like the videos, share, and also subscribe. And I'll see you in the very next tutorial.